Hey guys, so this will be a quick reading for the sign of Cancer. This will be a general collective reading, so this will not resonate with everyone that watches. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But this could resonate for some Moon Rising and Venus placements in Cancer, or if you're dealing with somebody that has those placements. Please take a moment to read through the description box. Personal readings are open. Um, if you're interested in that, you will need to send me an email to inquire. So you can find that down there. Um, also, the links to my Instagram and Facebook pages. I would really appreciate it if you liked and followed me there. And the link to my merch website that I have just launched not too long ago. Um, if you purchase merch from me, you will have the opportunity to earn a free 16 card video reading with me. All right. So, Cancer. Cancer. Uh-oh. You guys might be going through some type of legal situation or it's going to happen in the near future. Some of you guys may be getting served some papers. Ooh, somebody's getting a divorce. Somebody may be getting a divorce or a re relationship is going to come to a final end after some type of legal situation. It's like there's irre you and this person cannot reconcile. There's irreconcilable differences. But somebody is focused on somebody that they have love for. So I see one relationship or one connection ending because of in, it ending with like some type of court situation. And I see you guys maybe having another situation where you guys have unconditional love for somebody and you're very focused on that situation or you're watching that person or this is what somebody is doing to you. All right, let's see. Oh, well, why am I trying to do that? What's on the back of the deck? You, somebody was feeling very trapped in a situation and they felt like they maybe needed to focus on their money because they maybe needed to pay a lawyer or they had court fees or they had, you know, they had to start paying child support and alimony, old back child support, something along those lines. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here, guys. But I feel like that's coming to an end. Something is coming to a final end. I'm about to actually name that video this. Something is coming to a final end. Okay, so let's get clarity. Legal. What is this legal? Up in the air. Ah, so it hasn't come. So the court situation is still pending or it's still in process. Like the, the there hasn't been a final final verdict. All right. The, so yeah, it's undecided. There hasn't been a verdict. There's still uncertainty about how a court situation is going to turn out and it's making somebody feel very unstable. There's like a lot of instability in the situation. All right, what's this irreconcilable differences? It's like once the situation comes to an end though, it does look like, if you guys are wondering, I don't like to give legal advice, but it does look like for some of you, whoever or whoever this is coming through in this reading, there's going to, this legal situation is going to end in a divorce or a final end to something. All right. And whatever it is, it looks like it's going to be in your favor. It's going to be, it's going to be beneficial to you. Whether, I mean, whether or not the court situation goes in your favor or not, it's still going to be beneficial for you. I see your health improving. Um, once this situation comes to an end, I also see that somebody may be able to have like more free time or something along those lines. I feel like somebody was maybe overworking themselves, be able to afford this. Um, and now they're going to have more time to, for leisure, leisurely type things. All right. Somebody wants to take a lead in some type of love situation or love connection. 
It's like somebody may have been trying to like think about a love situation objectively. Like not trying to be too overly emotional about it here. Like maybe somebody is trying to really balance like logic and emotion in, in regards to like somebody that they have like love for. So like, somebody knows that they have genuine love for somebody, but what I'm getting here is that like instead of just feeling this love for you, I feel like somebody's gonna start putting together like a plan. You know what I mean? Like not just it's like I feel like this person's starting to use their head now. Like they're starting to use their head and like come up with a plan to take action on this love. Is what I'm getting here. They're gonna take the lead. Focused. Burnout. Some of you guys have been too focused on this situation with this person or this person's been too focused on you or they've been too focused on this legal situation and somebody has been, been neglecting themselves. Spirit wants to bring to your attention that you need to make sure that you're practicing self-care and self-love. So I told you, somebody was overworking themselves pro possibly to pay for or fund this, their, you know, pay for their lawyer or some type of like, because they were going to court with somebody and it was expensive and they had to like work more hours or something along those lines. Or they just feel burnt out because, you know, legal situations can be in divorces, child support here, whatever. That kind of custody battles can be draining. They're exhausting, you know. So Spirit wants to, wants to bring to your attention that you need to make sure you're taking care of yourself. And then we have the moon here. Yeah, somebody is like very much in their feelings about somebody that they have like unconditional love for. There's like some things that are hidden here that maybe that you don't know about. Somebody needs to listen to their intuition about purpose, about what like what they're supposed to do next or like what their life's purpose is, whether or not like a situation is for them or not for them. Yeah, it's like somebody needs to listen to their intuition about what what action to take next. But somebody is like, I told you, this person's trying to use their head. They're proceeding with caution. Or this is what you guys need to do when, you know, thinking about what you guys want to do next in your life. All right. So this is what I'm seeing here for you guys. Um, oh, I wanted to get you guys some advice. An advice card. Spirit wants you to know you cannot be replaced because there is no one else like you. You guys are very unique. All right. Know that you are unique and special. Only one. So somebody is realizing that no one else compares to you. All right. And they're realizing that they feel like you're the one for them. I feel like this person is feeling like you are their like, you are like not their purpose, but they feel like they are meant to be with you, that you guys are supposed to be together, that that's faded. Um, you know, you might know what's good for you, but your angels and guides know what's best for you. So you, there's something that you guys thought was for you and look, it's ending in a divorce or a final, it's coming to a final end and it, there's legal the legal systems involved this, this situation that you thought was for you you and this person have irreconcilable differences but the divine is manifesting this they've been trying to tell you listen to your intuition this person this other person i feel like is what the spirit has been trying to guide you to this person but you guys had have not been listening i feel like maybe you guys were still trying to make something work that was dead all right or maybe this is what somebody else was doing that you guys were dealing with all right so this is what i have for you guys I hope that this reading helped you. Um, thank you so much for purchasing. Purchasing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.